So in the previous video, we set up our design screen for our digital doodle app. Uh, we have our buttons, our slider, and our hidden components. So we're going to come over to the blocks now and start programming them. So when I click my camera button, I want to tell my camera, it's coming here, I want to call my camera to take a picture. So we're activating that function. Now, after the camera has taken a picture, what do we want done with that picture? Well, we want to take our canvas, and we're going to take our canvas as background image. So we're going to set our canvas as background image to what? The image that the camera took. And I can just click there lots of times, and you can see. Uh, my blocks will be there, but I could also go up here and grab them from variables. So now I have my camera and I have a, uh, the picture taken and it being on screen. So I can come back to my canvas and when my canvas one is dragged, meaning a finger action comes across that uh, canvas, I want to use that to draw a line. And you're gonna see all these different line functions uh, here, but I want the X1, uh, y1, y2, x2 here. And what I want to do is, again, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to, I'm going to get my previous x. And I'm going to duplicate that here and I want to get my previous y. So what that's saying is, as I drag my finger, the canvas is keeping track of my x, uh, y coordinates. So I'm getting the previous one that I was touching. And I want to then, for my next one, get my current X and my current Y. So what the computer is going to do now is it's going to draw a line from my previous XY where my finger touched to my current XY where my finger touched. So now we have a line that will draw on that canvas. So next thing is, I want to set my line width. When I change that slider position, I want to set my canvas's line. So I'm going to come over here, uh, and I'm going to find my canvas line width to whatever that thumb position on that slider reads, that little bar reads. So now I have a way to set my slider's uh, width I need to work on being able to change the uh, color of my line. So I'm going to come up to my red button and I'm going to grab in when my red button is clicked. And I'm just going to duplicate this three times. And I can change it from red button to my uh, blue button and then to my green button. So I have those three different buttons. And I'm going to come back to canvas and I'm going to set my canvas color. I'm going to set, and I can duplicate that again to put in each. I want to set my canvas's paint color to what? Well, I want to set it to uh, the actual color that I would like to choose. So the way I'm going to go about and do that is come up to my colors here, and I'm going to grab red for my red one. I'm going to grab blue for my blue one, and then ultimately I'm going to grab green for my green one. Now you can also click on these colors and get a little bitmap here. Uh, you can also use RGB colors for this uh, as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is come to my accelerometer and said when my accelerometer is shaken, I want to tell my canvas to clear itself. So I shake the accelerometer, my canvas clears itself. And here is my final programming. So what I can do is I can come over to my emulator now. I can click on my red button. I'm going to use my finger stroke, and we're going to see that it draws. If I click on my blue, it draws blue. And if I change my pen size, uh, I will get a longer line. Now, uh, I also have a camera button here for it. 